And welcome everybody on YouTube. If you're watching this video there, of course, if you're here in Twitch, welcome as well. So we got another brew today that I decided to combine two of the last decks that we've we've played. So we we did the blue white uh, taking turns deck where we had lots of legendaries, um, and so we had like the blue white legendaries deck with our four uh, taking turn spells. And then we had a red-white Jaya deck where I wanted to play some big man, big, expensive instants and sorceries with Jaya Ballard. And they were both okay, but I th feel like they were both missing something. So what we're going to do here is put them together and hopefully get the best of both worlds. So we're still wanting to cast our... We still, like, you know, we got our eight extra turn spells, so all we're trying to do is just take every turn in the game, basically. And I, th I feel like Jaya Ballard can actually really help with this. Not only do we add a lot of mana to be able to cast these things, which is nice, but then whenever we start kind of chaining our Nexus of Fate and we want to thin our deck uh, really quickly to just so we're only drawing Nexus of Fates like every turn, Jaya Ballard's looting ability of loot, or rummaging ability of rummaging three cards uh, can really cycle through our deck quickly. So I th think that that could work out pretty well. And then, you know, we have our... Um, the other thing that the blue-white deck was missing was early removal. And now we have Lava Coil, Deafening Clarion for a lot better early removal than what we had access to. So hopefully uh, this fills the hole of, like, what the blue-white deck had. And this fills the hole of what the Jaya Ballard deck had. And kind of combine them together. Um, so that's what we got today. So feel free to hit that subscribe button on YouTube if you haven't already. And uh, let's get started. Yeah, that's our only win cons are the Karnstrucks or Explosion. Yep, that's all we got for, for win cons. Um, but once once we start taking every turn in the game with Nexus of Fate, then... Uh, then, you know, the Karnstrucks will end it eventually. We just need to get to that point. I don't have any beverage. No water. Nothing. No juice. No water. Jaya's ultimate allows you to cast spells from your... Uh, instant and sorcery spells from your graveyard. Which isn't like super relevant for us. The biggest thing we can do with that is basically cast like another explosion from the graveyard. Because Nexa Fate and like all like Nexa Fate and Karn's Temporal Sundering do not go to the graveyard. Because this Karn's Temporal Sundering exiles itself. Nexa Fate shuffles back in. So neither one does. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the temp temporal sundering. Um and let's get started. Definitely possible I shouldn't be keeping it, but it's too cool of a card to, to pass up. Hey, Steven. Howdy. Hope you're having a good Friday. Oh no, Danto Vanguard. That is certainly the card that I want to see the least of. Yeah, I certainly do not want to see a Danta Vanguard. I only have, like, I have, like, very, very few answers to a Danta Vanguard. Uh, basically none in the main deck. And in the sideboard, just a few. <laughs> I just spent my wild cards on Bant Fog, my bad person now. No, not necessarily. Yeah, that is why Seal Away is better than Coil, is exactly a Danta Vanguard. I like Coil more against... Basically everything else in the field, but again, specifically a Dante Vanguard seal away would be better for sure. Yeah, for Amazon, uh, so yeah, for Amazon Prime, you have to link it to your Twitch account. Um, go to like Amazon Prime and kind of show you. You know, you go to Amazon, you hit the Prime button. And you go on down to the bottom and go to Twitch Prime and link and link your Twitch account there on Twitch Prime. So heroic reinforcements, 
Gonna go ahead and end this game. What a great hand for the opponent. One drop into Vanguard, into Banalish Marshal, into Heroic Reinforcements. And they were on the play. Yeah, they got it. So we got Shalai and Lyra Dawnbringer to be able to block Vanguard. We got an Urza's Ruinous Blast that can exile it. And we'll get another Coil in here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut Expansion. Um, cut Trim Cleansing Nova since we got these creatures. Maybe trim a Jaya Ballard. It's still 66. Wow. Thanks, Bolt You. Three day work week, but it felt like 10 days. <laughs> yeah. Yep. After yeah, taking out the holiday break off. But that's still that's a good way to ease back in though. You don't have like the five day work week immediately. Um trim one of each Karn. Yeah, I mean we just kinda have to, right? I mean, yeah, we have to. Um, I think I'll take another Nova out. And... Maybe the Coil isn't that great. Is Shalai even really that good here? Shalai's a lot better against burn spells. You know, Shalai's fine. Uh, I guess a discovery and a search for Iskanta. So we gotta cut some other things. Iskanta is not bad against aggro. We just don't need all of them. It's our... I mean, it's still like our best win con. It only costs two mana. It's just not necessarily what we want to play exactly on turn two. Yep, I'm Eastern Standard Time zone. It is currently 3.33. Like a 3.33. Let's look for lands. Those are lands. Do we need a second blue? The answer is no. Let's go ahead and take these. I guess we have Teferi's as answers to Adanta Vanguard also in the main deck. So I think I want to just Deafening Clarion. Actually, Deafening Clarion could help give Shalai lifelink later. Yeah, so I should have just played the Sacred Foundry here. Um... Yeah, I should have just played Sacred Foundry. I want to make it slightly harder for them to flip Legion's Landing. Ooh, that's a good question. What's everybody doing for FNM tonight? Myself, I'm going to be right here playing FNM with y'all. Hmm. If I get Jaya in play... Time to face me. Let's see how you manage this. And... Next turn we can play Teferi and Deafening Clarion, do, thanks to the mana from Jaya? I guess no, we would need another land. But I certainly want to play Teferi and Takadanto Vanguard.
Hmm. Yeah, because we can only use two of the red mana for the instant associates. So we'd have to use one white, and then we'd have four left over. Sorry, I'm late. Reverse! And then, uh, Lion Tamer's playing a Naya Sunburn deck at FNM. Letter J's playing Demir Quasi Sacrifice. Oh, nice. Midnight Slayer's taking Hadana Stompy to a PPTQ tomorrow. That is great, dude. Good luck, Slayer. And if I top eight, I'll come back and sub. Best of luck. Oh, yes. This will do nicely. And Helios playing Big Red. Am I mythic ranked? No, I don't I don't play the ranked stuff. I do best two out of three match decks. Um Hasselhoof, sorry, hey Todd and Chad, I won my FNM with blue black quasi duplicate. Hey, good job. And R once has played a round of Ravnica Sealed and was pretty upset about the cards I got, but somehow managed to go seven and two. Very good. Hey. Made it work out. Now watch have time to watch the stream. Heck yeah. Ooh. Hold that thought. We got next to fate. Here we go. Here we go. So wait. Can I Clarion and Nexus of Fate? So three, four, five, six, seven. I'd have to kind of wait till the untap. It's not gonna be able to work. Um So I can uh, Yeah, it's not gonna work. I need to be able to Because I'm not going to be able to spend able to sp I'm not going to be able to spend the one extra mana until after untapping. So I, I think what we do is just attack and stop at end step. Um, here, let's loot. Let's discard away. Pyromancy requires quickness of mind. And search for scant is great. Discard to fairy. I guess just to fairy. All right, now, end turn, add two mana, resolve, untap, untap, nexus, take another turn. Um, I can destroy all enchantments with that. Let's draw cards of fairy. Let's skip to the good part. So I can... Uh, so if I had three mana, so it'd be three, four, five... So, so it'd be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this costs five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so we can, kinda, we can just do everything. So let's go... Add three red. Prepare yourself. Cast this. Destroy all artifacts and enchantments. Cast this thing. Three damage and lifelink. Cast this thing. Um. Now. Yeah, deck master's working again. <laughs> Dude, I definitely wish July was Corsair. Oh my gosh. Corsair would be so much better. All right, so now Jaya can ultimate and get the emblem where we can cast instants and sorceries from our graveyard. So we can cast Deafening Clarion, Cleansing Nova, Lava Coil, Discovery. We can cast all that stuff from our graveyard. No more games. We'll do Library, Transform. Minus eight. A true pyromancer can never be extinguished. Go ahead and coil this thing. Play Dawnbringer. And that should be game. 
Yeah, uh, tar things with indestructible will not die to Cleansing Nova. Cleansing Nova, Nova does destroy. Um, does destroy, so if, if something's indestructible, it will not die to Cleansing Nova. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. Does Banefire still go through pause for reflection? Um, I'll have to check out what pause for reflection. Yes, it still does. That that prevents the combat damage, and so that's only combat damage only re, uh, refers to attacking, blocking. Um, so any other damage like bane fire, explosion, things like that will still happen as normal. But yeah, it does not target, so it does kill hexproof creatures. That's a good good point. I kind of feel like I should just put an extra Cleansing Nova in my deck. Um, but we, we do have... We have versus Ruinous Blast. Because I, I, I feel like they're going to have like enchantments like uh, Ixalan's Binding, Conclave Tribunal, stuff like that. To exa like, you know, I feel like they're putting in enchantments to deal with my angels and things like that. And so just having like Cleansing Nova to destroy the enchantments could be pretty useful. But, oh well. So, back to some Friday night uh, plans. See, Kelly is staying at home with the wife and watching family movies with my daughters. That's really nice. Come to me now. Okay. Just going to go ahead and coil one of these. Because one, one will protect the other. So like they're they're not gonna both die to deafening clarion. So I might as well just get rid of one, because they're not gonna both die to deafening clarion. Okay, Sox has playing some commander tonight. Nice. What happened to regeneration? I don't know. I guess they kind of have decided their regeneration's kind of gone. I want to go to my first FNM since building my new modern deck, but my friends all want to go out instead. Uh, yeah, that's a tough, that's a tough call. Which one to do there? Then. Hmm. Oh, really, uh... I guess I'm just gonna use the Stephanie Clarion just to kill the, the 2-1. I, mean, I, I can't just take, you know, damage forever from that 2-1. Oh, and Blue Eye Control is the deck you built? Well, that's why they want to go out instead of going to FNM. <laughs> I think we figured out what the problem was. Okay, so... Barry, go ahead and... Right on schedule. Var Varashada! With the sub with Twitch Prime. Let's take it. Thanks for using your Twitch Prime sub. Here, let's get some hype votes in the chat for that. Now, our, our opponent is Boros Aggro, but they, you know, like, they're like basically mono white. They're just splashing a little bit of red. Um, and so they got they got Frenzy in as part of their splash. Hey, Danadil, thanks for the bit there. What do you think of Thousand Year Storm? Ever played it? I actually have not ever played Thousand Year Storm. Keep up the pace! I actually have not. So I don't have a great knowledgeable opinion on the deck. So I actually have not played it. Um, okay, end step. Trigger, blue, blue. Resolve, untap, untap. Nexus. All right, so we know they have Aurelia coming up here. You know what? I'm not done yet. Hmm. And I can only play one of Jaya or Karn. I kind of really want to play Karn to be able to minus and make a token to be able to block the Benelish Marshal. 
But Jaya can also just loot away. Like, so they get to attack for five next turn. Jaya can loot away so many lands and really get, help us find some kind of removal spell. Um, oh, right, they draw Aurelia, so they're not going to be playing Aurelia. That's a good point. That's a good point. So the other problem with playing Jaya is that Teferi is going to die if I play Jaya. Because, you know, Karn can make a blocker and keep Teferi around. Um, I think that's okay that Teferi dies. I think just looting away so many cards is probably just incredibly valuable. I can turn anything. I know what I'm doing. Next turn, we'll loot away even more cards. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. That's annoying. That protects Benelish Marshall. That is really annoying. That takes out Jaya. Oh, they got Teferi? Ooh, they could have just attacked Teferi. Hey, Xenovoid. Okay. They're just not caring about Jaya. Think fast. Urza's Ruinous Blast. Would be insane. We have one in the deck. <laughs> oh, that's great. Found it. That's why they should have got rid of Jaya. We just got to loot so much. You know, we just got to loot away six lands. Or rummage. Rummage away six lands. That's so many lands. No time for a break. Um. Ooh. Karn's Temporal Sundering. It's exactly what we want. We need some extra turn spells. Because next turn, because of Jaya. You know, Jaya adding three mana means the Karn's Temporal Sundering will only cost three, so I can play, like, Dawnbringer plus Sundering next turn, thanks to Jaya. Yeah, so opponent really should have just attacked Teferi and Conclave Tribunal to our Jaya. Now, if they have, like, heroic... Re if they have, like, two drop, like... Yeah, if they had a Danto Vanguard plus heroic reinforcements, they could have killed us. So we weren't out of the woods yet. But they did not have that, so I think we're out of the woods now. I think we're good now. Hurry! So the Pandemonium event is fun with that green-white deck you made a few weeks back with Takatli's maps and Carnage Tyrant. Okay. I had a 3x5 win in a row. Nice. Um, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. I'm just getting warmed up. I would like to take an extra turn. I'll bounce that. Nobody respects. Always respecting uh, Jaya Ballard. We need to move. Was Jeskai Control's worst matchup? Um. Yes. Fight fire with fire, but what kind of fire? I should have. I think I should have um, cast next to fate first before drawing with the fairy, but it doesn't really matter. Our opponent's dead. All right, let's surveil. Let's look for an extra turn spell. Nope. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we still have seven, so let's 
Let's rummage away. Let's hope for something good. Three more cards that are not an extra turn spell. Bleh. Let's draw another card. You know what? I'm not done yet. Bleh. Yeah, we've gone through a lot of cards. That's okay though. Uh, search for Scanta is good. Karn's good. Tick up. My good choice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't have a great answer for what Jeskai Control's worst matchup is. I don't think it's very good against a lot of the white-based aggro decks with the Danto Vanguard. Um, I think like mono-white aggro decks are quite good against it. I'm attacking with Shalai here because Shalai protects Lyra, and so they can't really attack through Lyra. Like, if they have a Conclave Tribunal, they have to use it on Shalai, and then I still have this blocker. Yeah, our opponent's very dead. They they could have won if they they just didn't respect Jaya Ballard, though, and Jaya Ballard made him pay. So, Jaya did exactly what we wanted. So, exactly what we wanted. Added mana for the extra turn spells, and also just rummaged really quickly to help find him. You know, we rummaged through six lands there in two turns. You know, that really digs di digs through your deck quickly, so. Good job, Jaya. So, 1-0. Oh. This deck feels pretty good. Hey, hey, NYC. Thanks. Yeah, this, this deck feels pretty good. Exactly what we were trying to accomplish with having... Which... With combining the the blue white and the red white decks that we were we had played previously. Oh yeah, Demir is Demir is hard for Jess guy. That's true. That's a good point. There you go. Yeah, blue black based decks are good in control mirrors for sure. Okay, you just played. Oh, you had Bane Fire in hand. Oh no. Yeah. So what I was saying there. When you had the the one thing I was really happy about what you did, you had the Conclave Tribunal and you Tribunal to Fairy, when you could have attacked and killed to Fairy. And I think it, if you take Jaya Ballard away from me, I think you win that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so because Jaya just got to uh, rummage away so many lands, you know, we got to just rummage away three lands and find that Urza's Ruinous Blast. You know, we I did not have that blast before the Jaya activation. No, I wasn't. No, that's not saying that you punted because it makes sense what N NYC was trying to do there, especially knowing that you had Banefire in hand. You wanted to attack. You wanted to take Teferi out and attack me for three because you wanted to Banefire me. So it certainly makes sense. Yep. Yeah, Jaya was was crucial, but Jaya doesn't. It's not the kind of card that looks like it's crucial. Uh, Danto Vanguard. Yet again, be in my bane. Yep, Boris Bugler on the docket. What's the weakest planeswalker in standard? I think it's Jace Cunning Castaway in standard. Beagle, 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 beagle. Uh, I'm just going to graveyard that. Tilt. I would much rather draw on Temporal Sundering than Search for Kanta. Yeah, what? that's true. White, white green Huali does not work very well. Yeah, Deckmaster is working. Uh, re refresh your stream. Deckmaster should be good to go. And playing Search Risk Kanta here just to put a card in the graveyard. Yeah, you know, it's just two mana, throw a card in the graveyard. Not a very good card. 
<laughs> I don't have Jace's right now. I'd have to, you know, I'd have to use some wa more wild cards for it, but... Um... <laughs> oh, opponent's really punishing me for throwing away the Azkanta. Disabling Deckmaster on the right, then refreshing. Re-enable, re that's what works, okay. Yeah, maybe we'll play a Jace deck at some point. Maybe Evil must not be Maybe Jace can fit into like a blue white or uh or Esper Spirits deck. You know, kind of built around afterlife with spirits with um also with uh what's it called? Um with Supreme Phantom. Maybe we can get a Jace deck with that. So I'm I'm definitely glad our opponent gave us the land instead of the Karn's Temporal Sundering. I guess our opponent didn't know that we didn't have a land because we still could have played a land after that. But best possible scenario here is we draw a land. If we draw a land, we actually have a good chance of winning. A decent chance at the very least if we draw a land. We got to draw a land here, though. Okay. Let's go. We don't, I mean, we have a lot better chance than what we would have if we didn't draw that land there. I wouldn't say that we are favored yet, but... We got a shot. All right, so Temporal Sundering. I'll take an extra turn. We got, what, five in the graveyard? I'll take an extra turn and bounce their Conclave Tribunal and get the Search for Escanta. I want, I want Search for Escanta back. All right. So we have five in the graveyard right now. We get Link. Hey, Todd, I got top eight last night with Value Town. Hey, great job. Just want to say thank you for the awesome information in that article you published and that I'm having a bla blast with your creation. Hey, way to go, Weakest Link. That's great news. All right, it's a little risky keeping that card because we need to find a land here. But Karn usually finds a land with a pickup. choice. Yep. All right, we found a land. Um... It's fairy plus lava coil, but no, let's let's just go ahead and nexus. So we still have five. Mm. So that kills aspirant and makes them pay for life for a Danto. And then we can we can play this to kill Aspirant, play Lava Coil to kill Luxodon. I think I'll keep that. Yeah, just Google search Value Town Complete Guide. Um, it's a I have a two part article like it's two parts that are each around five thousand words. I wrote about ten thousand words on that deck. Still have a Danto Vanguard. But now we're into such a better spot now that we took, you know, two extra turns. Now Karn's at four, four loyalty again, so they cannot kill Karn. Um, and then even if they Conclave Tribunal Karn, we get to tuck Conclave Tribunal. I can also tuck a Danto Vanguard, though, as well. Yeah, it's a modern deck. Yep. Um, I think I'll go library. Transform. So one, two, three, four, five. So I can play Teferi and activate as Kanta, or I can just play Teferi and Discovery. Or 
Or I can do both, I guess, if I take up to ferry. If I take up to ferry, I can do both, Let's but I don't think I want to take up to ferry. Let's go in minus. Let's get Karn back. You need to slow down. And we're going to uh, make a 1-1 one, one to be able to block this vanguard. I think our opponent has heroic reinforcements oh, in hand. Say hello That's what I'm kind of thinking. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the Ascanta activation up. Called it. I don't have, I don't have black mana for dispersal. I just don't have black man in the deck. So, Karn, we do have... Alright, so over here for Karn, we have a Teferi and a Jaya. So I, I, do ha I do have the ability to get another Teferi back. So I can let Teferi die. And I can get another Teferi back. But our opponent is just attacking Karn. Alright, so let's look at... Let's see what we get here before we make decision. Okay, well, with Nexus of Fate, I want Teferi in play. So, let's block the thing attacking Teferi. Karn can die. Please stop. Alright, and let's draw cards. Oh, I should cast Nexus of Fate first. It gives me a chance of drawing the Nexus we of Fate again. We need to move quickly. I guess... I guess it would shuffle these three back, but those are not even bad cards to draw anyway. So yeah, I should have cast this next of fate first, just in general. Yeah, poor Karn. Uh, yeah, we're like a taking turns deck. It's we don't, you know, uh, we don't have any fogs or anything like that. So turbo fogs, similar. Because we're, but we have four Karn's Temporal Sundering and four Nexus of Fate. So we've already. This is our third extra turn of this game so far. I wish Ascanta did not just tap, but that's okay. We'll untap it and activate it. Hurry! Let's get a stop on the end step. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll keep both of those. Definitely Jaya. Yeah. I'll just keep both. Because I can activate as Kanta here. And I can take that explosion. <sighs> Sorry, explosion. Okay, so Jaya. Add three Ready mana. For your first lesson? Is it hot in here, or is and it? And Nexus, because we want the Nexus back in our in our library as soon as possible. And now draw a card. Let's skip to the good part. Get the stop on end step. And I don't think our opponent's going to get another turn. I'd be pretty shocked if they get another turn. Let's draw a card. Keep up the pace. Because we know that we know our bottom four cards are not extra card. Turn cards. We can just loot away all this stuff. I guess maybe I should have looted away that land. Combat requires strategy and impulsivity. Let's or rummage. Let's rummage away all those cards that are not extra turn. Wow, that's a lot of lands. All right, activate this thing. We can rummage those next turn. There's a Nexus. 
All right, cast Nexus. So our library is going to be pretty small here pretty soon. Untap. A couple lands. We're down to a 24-card library. We will rummage away. Do you doubt the Lava coil, stuff? land, land. <laughs> yeah, Nexus was a mistake. I agree. Um, draw a card. No time for a break. Okay, cast Nexus. Yeah, our opponent's not getting another turn. We just gotta we gotta find a way to win. Let's get that end step stop in so we can activate Ascanta again. Alright, explosion. That'll do. So, how much mana do we have? So, three. Alright, so, Jibelards plus this, that's four. So, then we have one, two, three. Yeah, we can, we can just explosion for 12. Oh, wait, wait. Cancel. 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 Is there a cancel button? I didn't tick up. Okay, good, yeah. I just had to hit Z a few times. Okay, phew. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is going to be good. Saved. Alright, I'll let them draw the cards also. Just to make sure. Okay, so we could have had X for 13. I didn't I didn't count, but I just assumed we had 12. All right. Yeah, I gave them the cards. They want to sit through that. They get the cards. All right, that's game one. Oh, it looked pretty bad for us there, but our we drew that six land to be able to temporal sundering when we had Karn in play, and kind of went on from there. Okay, so we won these angels, blast, um, extra coil. I don't even know if I won extra coil, honestly. We're going to trim one Jaya, trim one Cleansing Nova, take out Explosion. Um, take out one Search, one Discovery, one Karn, one Temporal Sundering, another Temporal Sundering. Kind of go from here. So the only difference in sideboarding I'm doing from last time, last time I had four coil, one Nova in, and now I'm going to go three coil, two Nova in instead. Hey, Rats, thanks for hosting the stream. Thanks for the host there. Yeah, opponent must be really excited for game two. Yeah, this is definitely a deck that's fun to play, but terrible to play against. Yep. But thankfully we're not playing against it. We're playing it. We are taking all the turns. Every turn. Ours. That's the goal, at least. Do I... Coil a witness? I guess so. I know we have, like, the blast to connect to Alum, but... It's, like, a ways off, because we have to have, like... We have to untap with a Planeswalker, so, like, we take like a, a good amount of damage from that witness hey rats yeah this is definitely pretty spicy just uh so two days ago i made a blue white deck that's like this that was just eight extra turn spells and we're just trying to take all the extra turns with blue white it had a very good cheap interaction yesterday i tried making a red white deck with uh built around jaya to like play like huge burn spells it you know struggled uh against a lot of things. And so now today, I'm putting them together. We're going to have Jeskai 
where we're taking a lot of extra turns and we have Jaya for the extra mana and everything. And it's been, it's been working out good so far. Okay, we need to find another Lava Coil. Uh, I guess I'm keeping Dawnbringer and hoping Dawnbringer stabilizes. J. Jack Jr. Donating $60. So, saying, hey Todd, I added an extra $10 for you to come up with a sideboard in this jank brew. When you play this, just think of every move you can. Try not to overlook anything and look at every possibility. This is a fun deck and your opinion is valuable to me. Okay. So what's, all right, so what's this, what's this deck, J. Jack Jr.? Uh, our opponent's at one, or we're at one? Why can't we be at two? Man, Nova would destroy everything, but this stupid Hunted Witness is going to make a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, whenever this creature dies, it makes a 1-1. One, one. Why can't we be at, if we were at two, we could stabilize. But we're at one. Yeah, yeah so we get, we get Coil and Clarion as now early removal. Um... Maybe I need... I need that extra coil. Nah, we're on the play. I think we're fine. Let's keep it still. Okay, here's the deck. What would you suggest as a budget alternative for Engineer Explosive and Value Town? I've been using Ratchet Bombs, but I hate the card. Yeah, Ratchet Bomb's kind of the best option. Um... Yeah, Ratchet Bomb's kind of the best option. It's not it's not good, but yeah, I think I can't think of really a better one. That's the one that's, you know, real similar. All right, what do we have here? Jeskai. Okay, yeah, like Jeskai dinosaurs. Okay. So we need to make All right, so we need to make a sideboard. And then, oh my gosh, it's Apex of Power. And we're playing Joda. Okay, so it's so it's like five color, right? Or no, we're not even five color. We just have Joda in our deck. But we can't. We can't. Oh, we have Chromatic Lantern. Yeah, Chromatic Lantern. Perfect. Chromatic Lantern's perfect. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Borrow some EEs. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, Jeskai. Alright, so we're playing another Jeskai deck after this. It's Discovery first. We'll see if we get a Shock Land, we can play the Shock Land in. So then our other lands are going to come into play tapped. Untapped, I mean. Those are not Shock Lands. I could have kept. Could have kept like one of the basics to make sure we have Shalai next turn. I don't feel like it was really worth it. I feel like we're gonna want spells. So we can have turn five omniscience. Heck yeah. Hmm. I just coil that. Omniscience worth X spell. You only get X is zero. Um, you don't get to have like X is affinity with omniscience. X is just zero. All right, so we got Jeskai omniscience. Which means we may we may not get to Selesnya Angels today. We'll see. But with our 
Oh gosh, two Adanto Vanguards? Getting bumped, we may, may be cutting. Maybe cutting that. Adopt a Vanguard is certainly like like perhaps the most difficult card for me to defeat. Um We're down to four? Or no, we're down to two. The Erdombringer. All right, one and one. We've gone one and one against Boros Aggro, which is what I think is probably our worst matchup. I can't really think of a worse matchup for us. I guess maybe Mono Blue. Actually, Mono Blue may be worse than... Yeah, I bet Mono Blue is worse. Ugh. We'll keep next to Fate. Right? No. No, we'll ditch it. So if we're if we're untapping with Teferi, we're gonna be okay anyway. I don't think we'll want to keep a card right now that kind of re requires us to untap with Teferi. Yeah, we could have Seal Away instead of instead of Lava Coil. The thing is, is like our opponent kind of has to have those kind of starts to beat us. If they're any slower, or if they they don't have Vanguard, and if we don't have Dawnbringer, like. You know, I have four Dawnbringers in our sideboard, kind of for a reason. Like, Dawnbringer is great. Shalai stops Vanguard. I feel like that matchup isn't isn't as bad for us. You know, I guess we're one and one against it, but I feel like our opponent has to have those kind of things to happen for them to win. Like, them have a Danto Vanguard, plus also have a lot of other good early stuff, plus also us not have Dawnbringer. Hey, Nerd Girl. Hope you're doing well. Um. Dang it, why didn't I have Deafening Clarion last turn? Hey, Contreras. What's up? Cleansing Nova can destroy all enchantments. I'm the choices we make. Reveal. There are no vigilant creatures you care about that Coil can deal with anyway, so Seal Away is strictly better. Well, I'd much rather have Coil against Dauntless Bodyguard, that's for sure. Or not Dauntless Bodyguard, sorry, sorry, sorry. Benelish Marshal. Like when they play Benelish Marshal, they play Benelish Marshal, and then it. And I'd rather just have Coil to be able to get rid of it. Oh, no, 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 no! Clicked the wrong thing! Gosh, I was just talking and not paying attention. Oh, I just clicked the wrong thing. Uh, man. Uh, that's just really disappointing. All right. Well, Coil could maybe do some stuff. They're going to have, like, Thief of Sanity. Um, yeah, they're going to have Thief of Sanity, so going to still want Coil. Um... Expansion's gonna be perfect here. Won all the expansions. No, I didn't see your question. I didn't see it.
Now, Seal Away is definitely not strictly better than Lava Coil. When people play, like, the Crackling Drakes, and you'd rather have Lava Coil, not let them untap, and be able to protect it. I like Lava Coil against every single card except for... I like it better than Seal Away against everything except for... Um, Adanto Vanguard. And I, I do not regret playing Lava Coil and not playing Seal Away. Yeah, and against those white decks, they usually do have Conclave Tribunals, Ixlon's Bindings, History Banalia, Legion's Landing, a lot of enchantments that I like destroying with Cleansing Nova, and I don't like having Seal Away to destroy with that. Okay, two, two cards. Get rid of one Coil, one Nova, I guess. Um, didn't you say you preferred Baffling End over Seal Away, too? Yeah, I, I do like Baffle Baffling End more than Seal Away, but... Seal Away can get... A Crackling Drake, a Re Rekindling Phoenix, a Dawnbringer. But I do like Baffling End. Like, it's... It's like the different... It's... You know, like that... Playing Baffling End over Seal Away would be for a different deck than this one. Trying to figure out the best format to play on Arena and what goal or purpose to have. I come from a Moto background. Wow, our opponent did not take Search Risk Ganta. I think that's an easy Search Risk Ganta take there. Like, I would, I would much rather have Search Risk Ganta in this matchup than... Much rather have Search Risk Ganta than Teferi. See if we find one of our lava coils. No, we do have a Nova next turn. Is that worth it? Yeah. So our our uh, graveyard has six. Whenever they hit us, our graveyard is going to have a couple more cards. Um, so as Kant is going to be able to flip. Can you gain anything monetarily? No, not really. No, you can't, you can't like sell your collection or like win stuff that you can sell on Arena. Like how on Moto you can win tickets and sell tickets. Had an awesome hand. Please stop. Now double duress, double negate, thief of sanity. Does it get any better than that? Yeah, this has just been. This has just been really frustrating. All right, let's look for a Lava Coil. We haven't seen a Coil yet, and presumably the opponent hasn't. Keeping search for his Kanta in our hand, of course, because of disinformation campaign.
Man, I'm just... That sucks how I just misclicked on the, the Cleansing Nova, and now our opponent had a perfect game two hand, and we're just going to be done with this deck here. It's really disappointing. It's really hard to beat. Double duress, double negate. Thief Sandy disinformation campaign. Quite tough. Hopefully find Lava Coil now. Still haven't seen one yet. There's a Lava Coil. So, I mean, it's possible our opponent took a Lava Coil. But we've gone through 40 cards and we haven't seen one yet. All right, cool. Y'all want to see omniscience anyway? Good. I don't feel so bad. They're casting our discovery there. We'll shuffle Nexus back in. It's kind of the problem with shuffling Nexus back in is all those cards I don't want are gonna get shuffled back in. So I don't I don't necessarily don't want all of those. Like drawing a Nexus or a Teferi is perfectly fine. There's a coil. Alright, got that thing out of here. So they still have five cards in hand, plus these extra three cards, so they still have eight cards. We do have an Ascanta, though. Their opponent did not take the Ascanta, so... Ascanta can maybe grind through eight cards. It's possible. Ascanta is pretty messed up. So they absolutely have more Eldritch Reborns. <laughs> there is great so I am making a token here to be able to sacrifice to an Eldritch Reborn. Yeah, their deck is so good against against control decks. All those duresses, negates, thought erasures. It's gonna be tough. Oh, they drew a field of ruin? Well, so much for Escanta. No, I don't really have a favorite card in the new set, per se. Not yet. I am not going to see this one. Hold that thought. Yes, 1-1 one, one can get there. 22 more turns. Go win. Alright, Rini 
eat something sweet. Okay. Angry Poncho, thanks for getting that sub in. Really wish I didn't throw away that first game. We need to move quickly. So right now, even activating as Kanto, we'd only have four mana. So I couldn't like find a Teferi and be able to play Teferi. Okay, we went one two. I think the deck has quite a bit of potential though. Um I think our, our loss against the Boros player or basically yeah, like the loss against the Boros player, they had just really really good hands games two and three and our mulligans were not very good. And then against that blue black player I just messed up game one real bad and then game two they had one of their you know ninety fifth ninety fifth percentile hand or so. Um so that's really disappointing. I was looking forward to playing that deck more. Um, I was enjoying it, but, oh, well, if you're watching here on YouTube, thanks for watching and hope you watch another video.